Today I will be showing you how I make flashcards with my students um, in the classroom, and then I have them do that as well as we sort of progress through the semester. And one easy way to do that is to um, open your drive, and if you go to Google Slides, and I have them do it this way, so then not only do they benefit from the making of it, then they can present to the rest of the class. And I'm going to show you in Google Slides how to use a template. So if you click on From a Template, And as you can see, um, because I've recently opened that, it's at the top of your screen. But um, if you hadn't done that and you scroll down, you can see some of the options that you have for different templates. And um, there's one just under education. So um, there are some in there that would be helpful. But I'll go just right from my recently used. So if I click into flashcards, And what will pop up is a template for flashcards for a Spanish quiz. And I'll show you how we use it in my classroom. Um, one of the things that we do is we use a method to learn vocabulary. It's called RTWD. And that stands for Read, Talk, Write, and Draw. And um, so on the cards, the reading part comes in their textbooks. It comes in passages that I share with the class. Talking about it is we generate synonyms, we talk about different definitions, different context. Um, the writing part is where they create sentences, and so all this is on our flashcards. But then I also ask them, the D part is draw. And one of the things that we talk about is the fact that we're all visual learners, and um, if you might remember a picture before you remember all the other stuff. So um, I'm going to click into the Spanish quiz card. And I'm going to change that so it reflects one of the things that we would do in our classroom. So you can get rid of what was on the screen. And I'm just going to put in Health, uh, Chapter 1. And I'm going to show you up here in the add-ons, one of the things, and if students feel uncomfortable with drawing, one of the things that they can do, I've added an add-on called Unsplash Photos, which is another part of um, Google that I really like is all the add-ins that we can use. And I'm going to put a picture in. And for the first one, I'll just put a general health picture. So we'll see what, what's available. And I'll just choose this one. And as you can see, um, I'll need to resize it so I'm not losing my words. And you can kind of um, choose how you do that, but it just gives a visual for students. And then I'll show you uh, one more that would be um, maybe a vocabulary card. So if I click here and I stay in Unsplash Photos, and I pick one of our terms from that chapter, for example, if I put in exercise, um, then I can just choose, I'll just choose the top one. And we'll give it a second and move over there. And I'm going to size that again so it's smaller. And if we look here, um, as I size the picture, then that leaves me room to put a definition, put some synonyms, and then students can then, when they've created their chapters vocabulary cards and they have the option to share it with the rest of the class and, and then they benefit from everyone else's learning. So um, one of the things that I think is really helpful are all the templates that are provided because it doesn't require me to create something if there's something already done. And that's how you use a template in Google Slides.